page four, I think. Um, so we have this equation, it has a square root in it. That means we need to square both sides. Again, this is back to that idea of inverses. On the left-hand side, then the square root and the square undo each other and you have two X plus seven. But on the right hand side, you're going to have to square out that binomial. It'll be x squared plus 4x plus 4. We've worked on this and worked on this. You really need to know how to square a binomial. You can FOIL it out. You can use the box method. We talked about this earlier um, in these videos. Okay, this then now, my new equation here, without the radical, without the square root, but now it is a quadratic equation. I'm going to subtract 2x. And I'm going to subtract the 7. And so I get 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. And I'm going to hope that it factors. If it doesn't factor, I probably go to the quadratic formula or I might complete the square. But it does factor x plus 3 and x minus 1. Now, you can use those other methods to solve the quadratic. That's fine but I get x equals negative three or x equals one. You have to check these though, because you took the, uh, you squared both sides. So go back to the original, we have to check and see if negative three works. So here's, oops, that's kind of big, two x plus seven. Let me make it not quite so big. Um, equals x, oops, equals x plus 2. So let's put in negative 3 and see if it works. 2 times negative 3 plus 7. Does that equal negative 3 plus 2? Uh, probably not because I'm going to get a negative 1 over here. And here I'm going to get a negative 6 plus 7, which is the square root of 1, which is 1, not negative 1. So no. Negative 3 didn't work, so we can't include that in our answer. Now, maybe the 1 works, maybe it doesn't. You go back to the original, but now we're going to put in a 1 and see if it works. Well, 2 plus 7 is 9, so we get the square root of 9, and 1 plus 2 is 3. Oops, 3. Yes, that one works. So what's the answer? The answer is the one. That's the one we tried and it worked. Okay. The next one is one of the harder ones. Um, you look at the denominators, see if I can make that a little bigger. Uh, you have an X and an X minus two. And so we're actually going to multiply everything times X, X minus two. That's the L, what we call the LCD, the least common denominator. Well, when you do that, the x's are going to cancel on that first term, so you're going to have 2 times x minus 2 equals, and then you're going to take it times this term, you're going to get 3x, because the x minus 2's will cancel, minus 1 times, and nothing cancels. Fortunately, it's a 1, so we can just say 1x or just x. And now we have to solve this equation, so I'm going to distribute. Make sure I did that right. So this is 1 to x times x is 1x squared. Negative 1 times negative, I'm sorry, negative 1x times negative 2 is a positive 2x. Okay, it is quadratic. I know that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the x squared term over. Um, and let me just write this again. I probably could have done a neater job, but I didn't. Whoops, I wanted to, I was thinking 25, 2x. Okay, so now you're going to have x squared plus 2x minus 4 equals 5x, and you're going to subtract the 5x off because you want to set this to 0, or we're hoping it factors, or if we're not going to factor, we're going to use the quadratic formula. That's up to you. But um, it, it does factor, so we can get um, x minus 4 and x plus 1. Now, you do have to check and make sure that that doesn't make the denominator 0. So you have answers of 4 and negative 1. 
Now let's go back up and see if those work. Yeah, I can have a four there. It doesn't make it zero. I can have a four there. I can have a negative one and I can have a negative one. I can't have, can't have, X cannot be zero or two, but we didn't get those answers. So these are our answers four and negative one, or if you want to put the negative one first, negative one, four. Okay.